Parents in Waukee tell us they worry putting children on school buses when drivers get lost, walk off the job, or use foul language. We've learned some Ankeny parents also are concerned with Durham buses, and Ames experienced similar problems last year. If you can think of it, we had that problem. The bus driving past kids and them not being picked up, too many kids on the bus. Uh, kids not getting dropped off. Durham School Services, owned by National Express, sent KCCI this response to the Waukee incidents. As for the bus driver who quit midway through her route, it was an unforeseen situation. She did safely drop off the students, and we dispatched two buses to finish her routes. As for the late drop offs, our bus driver took a wrong turn and got turned around in the neighborhood. A replacement bus was dispatched. Concerning the fourth grader who got off at the wrong stop, the driver was a substitute. Our GPS confirmed she made all the approved stops. The Ames District made a bad situation better by creating a new job of transportation coordinator. D. Hare is the liaison between parents and the bus service. Bus drivers are very uh, undervalued, I think, and it's a tough job for them. We've seen both sides of the story. They've implemented a texting service to let parents know if buses run late. The parents are really looking forward to it, especially in the mornings when it's rainy or cold. They don't have to send the kids out as early. Harris says Durham has worked hard with her to get students to and from school safely this year. Now, in the response to us, Durham says they will use refresher courses for drivers, disciplinary measures, and better communication to improve their school bus services. Kevin?